Further, I spoke to Ken Lieberthal, Senior Fellow of Foreign Policy and Global Development at the Brookings Institution. I asked him about the changes and these new developments in China and what it all means. Well, I think he's trying to deal with a very widespread perception that the party has gotten out of touch with a lot of society, that, the, that China is now modern enough with a large middle class, uh, very wired in society, uh, that it has to have a more transparent political system if people are to trust uh, the decisions made in that system and to feed into it appropriately. He's trying to move the system in that direction, or at least to signal uh, that he is sensitive to those concerns and ready to act on them. Uh, it's going to be a major task. It's going to take a lot of time to increase the level of transparency very significantly, though. Is this a sign of more to come? Are we seeing some sort of opening up here? Is this setting the stage for what we can expect to see in China under Xi Jinping? Well, uh, keep in mind that the Chinese Communist Party has said for years now that it is determined to be more transparent. Uh, the State Council Information Office has for years uh, taken measures to make local governments more transparent. Uh, Hu Jintao has long called for greater transparency in the party. Uh, but this is a party with a revolutionary tradition. Uh, it is not an open uh, political system. And therefore, I think it's a very tough task. So I think the directions in which uh, Xi Jinping is saying he wants to move things are the right directions in this, in, on this issue. Uh, I suspect he'll push this fairly hard. But again, I think it's going to be an evolutionary process and one with a lot of resistance among officials who would rather do things without having to be as accountable for them. Well, that being said, there also seems to be a renewed hardline on corruption and a change to lead a simpler lifestyle, especially among government officials. What kind of message do you think this is sending to people outside of China, to other countries? Well, China has gotten a reputation of being a, uh, an increasingly corrupt political system, uh, coping with uh, increasingly uh, blatant uh, uh, dramatic inequality in distribution of wealth. And I think uh, the, that the new president, or, or about to be president, Xi Jinping, is acutely sensitive to this. I don't think his major concerns on it are what other countries think of China. I think his major concerns are the stability of the system itself and his capacity to prosper in the future. So he's put one of China's best problem solvers, Wang Qishang, in charge of the anti-corruption effort. Uh, I think he intends to pursue it very vigorously. Again, I think this is going to be a very difficult problem to make a great deal of progress on because it's very deeply ingrained in the nature of the system. So we'll have to see how much progress can be made, but he's certainly sending out a signal that he's serious about this. He's putting someone who's enormously competent in charge of it, uh, and he wants to uh, make progress as, uh, as the situation allows. Okay. Ken Lieberthal, thank you so much for joining us from the Brookings Institution. My pleasure.